ever heard the term socialism and gotten the feeling you should be wearing a beret and carrying a loaf of artisanal bread? Or maybe you pictured lines for bread, hopefully not artisanal, and grumpy bureaucrats doling out thimbles of vodka. Not cool, comrades. Well, buckle up, comrades, or don't, it's your call, because we're about to explore the fascinating, sometimes confusing, and often hilarious world of socialism. Welcome to the Political Doctrines Explained. Imagine a giant potluck, but instead of fighting over the last dip, everyone contributes what they can and everyone gets a plate. That's the basic idea of socialism, a political and economic system where resources are shared more evenly and the government plays a bigger role in stuff like healthcare, education and social welfare programs. Socialism isn't some newfangled invention by avocado toast-loving millennials, although they might be fans. Its roots go way back to the 18th century, when folks like the French utopian socialists, think dreamy philosophers, not guys in berets, started questioning the growing wealth gap during the Industrial Revolution. They weren't big fans of factory owners living like kings while workers toiled away for scraps. Fast forward to the 19th century, and socialism gets a major upgrade from Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels. These guys with their epic beards and even more epic manifesto proposed a total overhaul of society based on something called common ownership of the means of production. Basically factories, farms, etc. wouldn't be owned by rich dudes but by everyone. Well, kind of. Now, here's where things get interesting. Socialism isn't a one-size-fits-all system. There are different flavors from democratic socialism, think Bernie Sanders advocating for strong social safety nets, to full-blown communism, think the Soviet Union, where the government controlled pretty much everything. Socialism may not be taking over the world yet, but its influence is still felt today. Many countries in Europe have strong socialist elements, with universal healthcare and generous social programs. Even the US, the land of the free market, has a good dose of socialism. Think social security, public schools, and those sweet library cards. Because knowledge is power, comrades. So, is socialism the answer to all our problems? Here's where the fun part comes in, the debate. Proponents of socialism argue it promotes equality, social justice, and takes care of those who need it most. Opponents say it stifles innovation, discourages hard work, and creates a bunch of lazy bums who just want free stuff. Insert grumpy capitalist meme here. As with most things in life, the truth about socialism probably lies somewhere in the middle. It has its strengths and weaknesses, and its success depends on how it's implemented. So, will we all be rocking berets and singing the international in the future? Probably not. However, socialism will likely continue to be a topic of debate and influence how societies function. Maybe one day, we'll achieve that perfect balance of sharing and individual initiative, where everyone gets a decent slice of pie, hopefully a delicious, non-artisanal one. Disclaimer, this video does not advocate for joining a socialist commune or wearing berets. Remember, this is just a light-hearted exploration of a complex topic. Do your research, form your own opinions, and most importantly, keep it civil in the comments section. Whether you're a full-blown socialist, a free market fanatic, or just here for the laughs, one thing's for sure, a healthy dose of humor can help us understand even the most serious issues. Now go forth and share this knowledge, or not, it's your call. But sharing is caring.